My Bethany, how could she live with this guilt? His facial mutilation broke her soul, and it wasn't long until she was gone, fled to the woods. She couldn't take the pain anymore. I tried to stop her, but it was too late. What did I say about phones? I only bought it for emergencies. I have an emergency phone. Put it away. I'm having that later. Oh, taking this phone thing way too far, Wesley. But they increase stress. Well, they're, they're dirtier than a toilet seat. They have E. coli. <laughs> they don't have E. coli. They emit radiation that gives you headaches and brain tumours. I mean, do you want a brain tumour, Catherine? No, Wesley. Good. I don't want to hear a beep or a buzz this whole weekend. I just want fresh country air and beautiful scenery and to be away from traffic and shops and fucking television. And to spend time with the family? <laughs> if they ever show up. Mum! Oh, <laughs> Jessica, sweetheart, how are you? Gertie's is hi. Hi. <laughs> hey, Wesley. You're six minutes late. <laughs> Lovely to see this handsome young chap again. How are you, Curtis? I'm very well, thanks, Cathy. <laughs> oh, 
Good gracious, do you need a hand with all that stuff? Wesley can help. You do know it's just one weekend, Jessica. What the bloody hell have you got in there? We're fine, mate. <laughs> just chuck it in the back wherever there's space. Don't chuck it. Oh, say hello to your brothers. Hey, Jesse! <laughs> Hi, Sam. Hi. You remember Curtis? Toby, say hi to your sister. Hi to your sister. Hi, Toby. I see you haven't changed. Dick. Thought uni might made you grow up a bit. I was going great till I had to come back for this shit. Toby, no S word, please. Not around your brother. Toby, can Curtis maybe sit there? Doesn't like facing sideways. I get car sick. I shotgunned it. I've exited it. Well, I'd apologise, but I'm not allowed to use the S word. Everybody in back there? <sighs> yeah. Yes. Seat belts on? No, because there aren't any. I've got snacks in the shelf above for the journey. Fruit, water. Can we just go? Yes, Wesley, do. anything. He doesn't have to look. Well, all right, what are you watching then? Sewage Baby Massacre. You really think that's appropriate for a ten-year-old? I've been watching this stuff since I was like five. And look how great you turned out. <sighs> oh, friggin' hell, Sam. It smells like you've had a Sewage Baby Massacre in your pants. Never smells it, Delta. <sighs> Seriously, though, someone's sharted. Shut up, Toby. Turn it off. Sam likes it. He's learning self-defence. And you swear words. And how to mash someone's skull in with a sledgehammer. No, no more. Uh, get off! I was watching that! Toby, you can't let him watch that. Oh, stop being such a pussy little bitch. Toby, watch your language, please. Did you just call me a little bitch? I called you a pussy little bitch. Please, stop using that word. What, bitch? The P word. Pussy is not a swear word. As long as I've been to you. Oh, fuck off. Toby, that's enough. I will not have swearing on this trip. For heaven's sake, there's no need. Wesley swears all the time. Yeah, well, I'm an adult. I can do and say what the fuck I like. So, I'm 18. Well, then perhaps you can stop behaving like it. What's pussy? Uh, it's a rude word for a cat. Hmm. I thought it meant a vagina. Why did you let them bring that video thing? It's a long trip. They get bored. Well, I'm bored of hearing them arguing over it. Why can't they just talk? That's what I did when I was a kid. Do you know Sam's going to end up turning out like Toby? Like what? He's socially retarded. Don't say that, Wesley. You're wrong. He's just got onto a very desirable course. My money's got him onto a desirable course, you mean? Uh, I think we might be lost. Huh? This road. It's not on the map. Catherine, please, I know where we are. Would it really do any harm to stop someone and ask for directions? We're in the middle of nowhere, Cathy. There's no one to ask. Do you know what a Tom Tom is? It was invented for this reason? Isn't that what you and little girls wear when you're practicing ballet in front of the bedroom mirror? <laughs> I'm sorry, who invited Cuntis on this trip? Anyone? Toby, don't be a shit. S word! What did you call me? Cuntis. Well, that's your name, isn't it? Cuntis. Mum, how much further? I'm not sure, love. We're lost. Ah. Oh, here. Pull over and ask. Oh, no, Cathy. You never stop to speak to the creepy old guy by the side of the road. Oh, I'll talk to him, Wesley. I said no. Just stop for one second. Cathy, do you want to be raped and mutilated? Wesley! 
Excuse me, hello there. We're a little lost. We were wondering if you could help us. You fellas here are by my side, huh? Oh, that's kind, but no thanks. Uh, we're driving. I make a good and tasty mind. Done it all myself down here on our farm. <laughs> Growed me on apples and all. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I pressed it in the presser, boiled them up, or we collected the boils from down on the dirty river. <laughs> we don't want cider. We're not interested. We're just looking for the old Hansen farm, do you know it? You ain't here to drink my cider. No, I'm afraid not. Oh, oh, that's all right. Oh, but you some level aid. You like level aid? Oh, I've got a little old lemon lay tree round the back of them hay bows where they fell pussies been playing. <laughs> Peeled lemon lays myself, didn't I? Do you make it look and smell like piss intentionally or does that happen by accident? <laughs> uh, we have a fridge with uh, plenty of food and drink to last the whole weekend. If you could just point us in the direction of that farm. The Edson farm? <laughs> I know it. Just down the hill there. Put it all around. If you can't miss the old show. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Ah. Is that your family back there? This is my wife, Kathy, and her family. Is that your little boy back there? That's my stepson, Sam. Hi, Sammy. Sure your cute little boy don't want some of my lemonade? I can make it for him. I make it proper good and tasty like. Oh, where is he? Just try it. Oh. Smell that fresh country air. Smell the cow shit. Oh, my ass is numb. Hey, my lungs. I never killed you to just buy some cider. Right, nobody come round back and taking a piss. It's funny, it gets like one customer a day. Toby, there's a toilet inside. One a week. <laughs> it's very pretty here, Wesley. <laughs> well, at least somebody appreciates the countryside. Right, ladies, your job is to pitch the tent right over there while us men head out and get some wood for a fire. Come on, Daniels, you're coming with me. Aren't you going to wait for Toby? <laughs> I said us men. <laughs> Sam, can't you leave me alone while I piss? Doing? Look. What is that? <laughs> Finders keepers. Oh, don't touch old shit. Could be possessed. Possessed? Hey, you know, like that old video I made you watch? Night of the Satanic Exorcism. Made you watch it when you were four. Yeah, thanks for that. You're welcome. Let's go explore, but I don't want that thing near me. Okay. It's good to have you here with us, Jess. We don't see enough of you all, Kurt. We just don't get the time, Mum. <laughs> That's life. Everybody's money rich and time poor. Yeah, well, Kurt and I are time poor and money poor. We know we'd help you if we could, Jess. Oh, no, Mum, that's not what I was implying. 
Since I stopped helping you out with money, I barely hear from you. Is that all you need me for? Mum, don't be so ridiculous. You know, your father and I met in the city way back when. Well, prices have gone up since then. I mean, Kurt and I, we barely make rent. and We basically live in a cellar. Well, it, it's hard when you're young, but, well, it gets a bit easier. Mum, I have been living out of my overdraft for three years. Whereas you have what? Two houses and three cars? Toby and Sam, they're going to need to live at home with you till they're at least 30. <laughs> I don't think Wesley would like that. I don't think Wesley likes much of anything. He may seem like a grumpy old man, but actually he's very kind-hearted. He's done a lot of good for us. Mum, maybe you should just stay in the motorhome. You can, but Wesley really wants to camp. That's what we came all this way for. Whoa, 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 what the fuck is that? It's a pop-up tent. Where's my tent, Cathy? The one I've had since I was a kid. Oh, it was damp and it was smelly. Who asked you? I'm sorry, Wesley. It was just really tricky. This one's so much easier to put up. Oh, tricky for a useless old baggage, maybe. Perhaps you should have left it to the men. Kind-hearted, you say? He just has a very specific idea of how he wants this weekend to be. Yeah, a living hell for us all. He just wants it to be perfect. For us. Oh, good fire, Wesley. Oh, don't thank me. Thank Mr Daniels. He got it going. And he gets the first cut of meat. Oh, no. Actually, Wesley, I don't eat meat. Oh, no, you've got to try this. I'll cook it rare and bloody. It'll be the best meat you've ever tasted. Better than that dog shit they sell in the supermarkets. No, this is proper food. Man's food. We're vegan, Wesley. What? Vegan. Well, from Star Trek? It means vegetarian. No, Mum, it means no animal products. No meat, no dairy. Well, what the bloody hell do you expect to eat, then? All kinds of things. Fruit, vegetables, soy products, special vegan things. Isn't that stuff a bit expensive for you? Oh, Mum, it's a choice we've made. You sure you don't want me to cook you up some grass? There's plenty of grass. Oh, how about some leaves? Wesley. Well, that's vegan, isn't it? It's all well and good making fun of us, but there are benefits to our vegan diet. Oh, benefits. Yeah. What benefits? Do you shit flowers? <laughs> when you've got diabetes, heart disease and a fat belly, you won't be mocking us. What? I'm just kidding. Um, perhaps you should just go and get the food bag. No, it's all right, Jess. I'll get it. You two keep the fire going. Uh, it's in the um, brown puppy bag by the fridge. Yeah, of course it is. What did I say about phones? Hey, that's mine. Mum? I specifically said I didn't want phones, games, computers, all your electrical shit on this trip. Give it back. I didn't come all the way out here to have your bullshit disturbing me. You fucking arsehole! Toby! You're going to let him call me an arsehole? An arsehole that pays for you to go to university? See, this is the thanks I get. Do you know what a spoilt brat you are? Fuck you! Get your fucking hands off of me! Toby, that's unacceptable. Apologise to Wesley. Now, let him go, Cathy. Why'd you even bother? Toby! Toby! Wait, stop! Go away, dear. But we'll find your phone in the morning. I'm not sitting out there with him. Oh, great. So you're going to leave me out here with him? You're not going to convince him to give you any money, you know. You're wasting your time. What? Jess, give up the act. I know why you came back this weekend. You want money from Mum and Wesley. The same reason you always come back. Toby! It's fine, I, I don't care. What are parents for other than pissing you off and giving you money? You don't know how lucky you are. Look, maybe I don't appreciate their money. Uni is a con. And I'm probably going to come up with loads of debt at the end of it anyway. Look how you're struggling. 
Sometimes I don't even know who I'm doing this degree for. Me or for them. Something for Mum to brag to all her friends about. You're doing it for yourself, you dumbass. And you should really make the most of it, because before you know it, you're going to be stuck in the same roundabout of working and paying bills. You've got Kurt, though. I've had a crush on him since you were in year eight. I thought you didn't like Kurt. No, that's me just dicking around. He's a nice guy. I think he's good for you. Good. Because I really like him. Even if it does feel like you're going down a dead end, at least he's there with you. Maybe that's what's important. Look, just don't lock yourself away, okay? Come and join the rest of us. I'm gonna watch a movie. You watch too many movies. Jess? Don't depend on Mum and Wesley. I took those university fees and ran. Put them at the back of your mind and take control of the life you want. That's what growing up's all about. How? So, glad you came. To the middle of nowhere with your fucked up family. Hey, they're my family. They're all right, really. I know, I'm joking. They're bearable. So are you? Glad you came. Of course. I get to spend the weekend with you. I hope my mum's all right out there. She's got Wesley to look after her. To keep her warm in that sleeping bag. Oh, gross. <laughs> Maybe we should have got a tent too. No, thank you. We'd have more privacy then. We could do whatever we want. My brothers are right there. They can't hear. Kurt. <laughs> Kurt is. Mm. Play with your rude cat. <laughs> I can hear everything you're doing, you know. It's not okay. Just put a pillow over your head, Toby. Fine, but if I throw up, it's going over your bed. Did you speak to your mum? Brought it up, but she wasn't much help. Why not? You told her about the flat, right? No, I didn't. Jess, what else are we gonna do? We've got less than a month. I, know, I just didn't know how to bring up with them. Unless you want to move into Toby's old room, you'll have to find a way. There's someone outside in the window! What? There's a face in the window! There's no one there now, Sam. Oh, Sam, it was just a silly campfire story. <laughs> no, this was real! There's someone outside! Does this have anything to do with the toy I left in your bed? It's just a toy, Sam. Well, that isn't a toy! It's the creepy Spider-Man! I guess it is just us and him out here. I want to see with Mum. Really? You want to go out there and let old Creepy Face catch you and turn your blood into cider? Not helping, asshole. Look, Sam, let them be by themselves. They just want a night together alone, OK? Yeah. You don't want to repeat the Valentine's Day incident. Remember the nightmares that gave you? You can stay with me, all right? OK. But there's no room, Jess. You can sleep in his bed. Oh, thank you, God. We were just... Curtis. Fine.
Jesus Christ. What are you doing out here, Kurt? Same as you, by the looks of it. <laughs> Sneaky cigarette before bed. Oh no, this is a Casano Corona cigar. And not a cigarette. <laughs> you don't tell Catherine. The doctors told me I had to quit. I won't tell anyone if you don't. Yeah, whatever. <coughs> Catherine! <coughs> Catherine! What the bloody hell did you do? Smoking, the petrol tank must have leaked onto the ground. It was an accident. This wasn't an accident. Toby! Someone out there's trying to kill us! Oh, he's got a phone! We need to call an ambulance! There's one over here! Who the fuck's taken my phone? It was in there specifically for emergencies. Toby! I haven't touched your fucking phone! Toby! Just, somebody's been in here. Whoever Sam saw in the window, they've been through our things. Enough of this bullshit! We'll drive to the nearest hospital. Oh. Kurt, get the map. Jess, I swear something's going on out here. <laughs> go! What are you waiting for? Fucking thing won't start! Just go! Right! Shut your traps, you lot, and listen to me. Jess, wrap your mum in a blanket. Keep her warm. There's a first aid kit in that box up there. Put bandages on her burns. Do the best you can. Kurt and Toby, you're going to carry her. We're going to go back to that farm, wherever it is. It's the nearest place. But what about... We can use their phone. We'll get an ambulance out here. Everything will be fine. It's home, Wesley. This place is deserted. I'll check up ahead. They must have a phone. Wesley Wallace, this is my family. Stay back, Wesley. We, we don't want any trouble. It's just my partner Kathy here is injured. And we were looking for help. Thought you might have a phone we can use. Help! You say? Yeah, I'm a police officer. We don't want any trouble. No trouble, officer. Please, can we just leave? Then you come to the wrong farm.
to me! Silly girl. You wish I had. The story of Hanson Farm. Like many an intriguing tale, it began with a great tragedy that saw the untimely death of my dearly beloved Bethany. She possessed every vein of my aching heart, and she took it with her to the better side. Naturally, the perpetrators of this deplorable act had to pay, and mercy found no refuge in this cold, broken, Welcome here. What do you want?
Honey. His doomed body. They wrote us a death sentence. In Bethany Hansen's blood. And the more I hate them for it, the less it hurts to witness this unrelenting torture. They didn't mean for this to happen. You spoke badly of the Hansons. They wanted to do you proud. Proud? The boys who condemn their own father to the suffering. The mother to death. I have given up on all but my vengeance. Well, I will spare as much of our blood as necessary for one mere final pleasure of seeing him and his son ruined. <laughs> And so, you're not the first family to sit in this terrible prison or suffer this terrible fate. The sooner you can accept death, the sooner your souls can find peace. Bring the ball. They want us here in these cages to do whatever the fuck it is they want to do with us. But pretty boy Curtis and Sam there, they want them for their faces. The skin off their faces. You saw that mask he was wearing? Well, that was some poor bastard's face. And while we're stuck in these cages, there's nothing we can do. Nothing but sit here and wait. Wait for what, Wesley? We have to help Sam! We can't wait! Oh, Catherine, will you stop crying and listen to me? We're in the middle of fucking nowhere. The motorhome's broken. <laughs> or people, or, or roads, or any fucking thing for 10, 20 miles outside of here. There's nothing we can do about it. There's something I could do. I could get the fuck out of this cage. You heard the man. The door's electrified. The only thing you're going to do is barbecue yourself. Isn't that what they're going to do to us anyway? Enough! Enough! Nobody is dying today! I'm not staying in this cage! We have to escape or die trying! One deranged farmer is not going to take down an entire family! Okay, we have got to stop arguing and we'll get out of here alive! Fuck this! <laughs>
ऐसा नहीं आई हैव मिस्ड यू आई कांट स्टॉप माय सेल्फ फ्रॉम थिंकिंग अबाउट द इयर्स यू वर हियर लाइक सम लॉस्ट ड्रीम यू फॉरगेट just as you awaken by a woe far too soon beth i wasn't done dreaming with you memories don't feel real anymore we had so much more i wanted to do every day i could hold up without you breaks my heart me and sammy we got to get out of this place the killing and the torment pulls me further and further away from everything we ever had i have to leave this nightmare behind bethany and begin again promise you this I will never stop wishing we could just go back Let him out. Oh God! What are they going to do to him? Where's Wesley? Nothing, Mum. Don't you get it? They let him out. I think he set this whole thing up. Toby, I, I know you don't like him, but he—he he would never do that to us. Then where the fuck is he, then, Mum? I don't know. I, but it can't be what you think. It, it just can't be. Why not? It was his idea to bring us here in the first place. He got rid of all our phones, all ways of communication. He just wanted peace and quiet, Toby. He wanted to make sure that we couldn't call for help. He's fucking in on it. He's got some kind of deal. Look, I know we're all scared and we're all hurting, but these accusations, this paranoia, it'll only make things worse. He's not paranoia. I watched him fucking dance out of here. Enough. It makes sense, Mum. Fawns, can you just listen to Toby? I can't believe I'm hearing this from my own children. 
I swear if you're right, then Wesley's a dead man. But you don't know him like I do. You haven't spent those long summer evenings drinking fine wine at Chateau La Villetard or... You didn't catch him watching you from across the bar on Seven Seas Mariner. And he smiled and, well, with that look in his eye, as he took my hand in his. He's tried to do his very best by this family. When your dad could do nothing but run away from our problems. an education for you, Toby. Why I even have to defend him is like a stab in my heart. Then where is he now then, Mum? Wherever he is, I... I hope to God he's all right. I just wish you'd feel the same. Nice to see you again, Mr. Wallace. Quite enough. Well, who the fuck are you supposed to be? If you'd care to calm down and contain your temper, then I am the Reverend Hawksworth. And I have your payment. My arrangement was with the meat eater. Where is he? Well, the meat eater does not set foot on Hanson Farm under any circumstance. Therefore, he has sent me to perform this most delicate of transactions. And who exactly are you, Reverend? A loyal and dedicated customer, you might say. One with first orders on the new batch that we are paying you ever so handsomely for. Will you tell the meat eater? The deal was to bring the kids to the farm. It was not to be locked in a cage, shot with rock salt, and branded like cattle. I'm gonna look a right fucking wally with my surf up on the beach. Even in Benidorm, I couldn't get away with that. Well, I'll, uh, I'll pass on the complaint. I want double. I want double what he's paying me. Better the poor who walks in his integrity than he who is crooked, though he be rich. It's in the Bible, Mr. Wallace. Well, you can shove your Bible up your faggot ass sideways, you silly prick. The meat eater believes that a deal is a deal. Yeah? Well, these aren't sweaty, curry eating, greasy faced packers and big nosed monkeys off the street corner. I brought you a clean, middle class white family. This is gourmet flesh compared with the shit you've been keeping in there. Bloody council estate chippos and homeless scum. You'll get your money. Oh, I know I'll get my money. Every last fucking penny. And I want it now so I can get the fuck out of this shithole. Oh. Well, well. Maybe you're right, Reverend. Maybe I should read the Bible more often. Well, here's to a happy retirement. Sunny skies in Hawaii and sipping pina coladas on Hapuna Beach. Reverend, thank you very much. Enjoy the flesh. <laughs> Dumb fucking arseholes. Deal, you asshole! We had a deal! 
Let me out of here. Let me go. I want my money. It's mine, you thieving prick. Give me my money! You know when you're with the people that you're supposed to love and where well, they're driving you so mad that you, you wish something bad would happen to them or, or you wouldn't care if it did happen? Well, they're pissing you off. They deserve it, right? But as soon as you're away, even for a moment you think differently about them, you realise how much you care. Well, I had that with my sister. Well, growing up it was always shouting and arguing. and I'd think, why don't you just fuck off? I don't care if you get hit by a bus. And as soon as something bad happened, say her and dad had an argument, he was a miserable git his whole life. You care so much, Cathy. You care, and you worry. And I don't know how or why this feeling is so extreme, because... Really, you just care about your family. It's no good you saying all this now. Now that you're back in here with us, you dumb cunt. Maybe if I were to survive this despicable situation you've put my family into, I would feel like I care. Right now, I only feel that extreme feeling you're talking about. I would see the skin torn off your bones and have you rolled in salt! Catherine, please. And if I ever get out of this cage, Wesley, I swear to God, I'll kill you with my bare fucking hands! Do you understand me? I tried to give you a quick death, Cathy. I made my tent damp with petrol before we came away. We should have been all over in a few blazing moments. Do you understand what you have done to my family, you sick little man? Do you? Yes, I do. I have sold your flesh by the pound to Farmer Hansen and his very wealthy customers. <laughs> they have paid me very handsomely to bring you here. And now, now they are going to eat every digestible inch of you and your ungrateful brat kids. Then thank God. But the small comfort of knowing that you're getting eaten too. Stop! Stop! Oh, no. 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 Oh,
Toby, no! <laughs> <laughs> soon. We're going to get out of this hell. You and me, we're going to get a fresh start. We have your mother's blessing now. Tomorrow we leave Handsome Farm. Sleep well, my son.
mum all right? What? I bought a bowl mum. Yes, I have. Okay, listen to me. We need his blood. Oh, Jess!
my children. Sammy took them. Can you smell them, Bill? How do I know they didn't break out? How do I know they're not hiding in here right now? That little rascal, I'll kill him. Bill, take these out to the truck. I've got to find my boy. That's all I've got for today. I ain't finished with her. doing this for far too long. <sighs> Little Sammy, this world was cruel to him, and it was cruelty he clung to. It's all the poor boy ever knew. <sighs> it hurts, but I know he deserves to lie dead in his bed. But that's the punishment I brought upon this broken family. Let us go, and we'll leave you in peace. But until you do, this farm is going to hell. Ten years back, Miss Harver, I could have let you go. But I've had plans to leave this place for so long. A fresh start for me and my son, and your family was my ticket out. I know the pain I've caused you. I've carried that ache in my heart and my mind for years. You'll be the end of me if I unlock that cage. There's only ever been one lucky man to escape this farm. Everett Blackheart. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. There she is. Bet you're hungry, Bessie. Ain't your fault your husband let your boys do what you let them do. Bet you don't have much say. But now you pay the price for what they did. Ain't fair, is it? But that's just life, Betty. 
Life made you an ugly hog. The same way life made my Bethany such a beauty and then took her from me in its cruel and merciless way. Got something for you. Yeah. Go on. Help yourself. You can get it. Good girl. Sometimes, what we do in love is a painful sacrifice. A beneficial and a hard, treacherous journey of survival. Everett! You'll have to cut off your feet and find the keys. It's the only way. I thought that, love. But I'm already missing several toes, you see. I cannot afford to spare more flesh from this frail body. Sometimes a unanimous solution cannot be met. But that man isn't taking another drop of blood from me! You have to save our boy! These troubles of this are all sons of mine! My son, Miss Harvell. Now I take what's mine. You leave my Sam alone! He's not your Sam anymore. You let him go, you bring him back to me, you bastard!
I'm sure this is just a big, big misunderstanding. Some of the local farmers, they like to play silly tricks. That's all. It's not a trick, they're fucking cannibals! Let me get you some water. Come here. Let me get you some water. Calm down. It'll help calm you down, dear. No, I really just want to go to the bathroom and get this blood off of me. Fine. I'll take you up to the shower. Come on. <sighs> Towels over there. Don't use the white ones. We'll be just downstairs when you're done. <sighs> At least did you, you fucking bitch! Let my wife go! This is... Who did you call? Just fucking tell her, Terry. She's going to die either way. We had a very particular taste for a very particular delicacy. The supplier goes by the name Meat Eater. We were instructed to call him in case of emergency. So we called him. The Meat Eater. He's coming here. He's on his way. Call him. Tell him to open the door and let himself in. You can kill us all. I will rip her fucking head off. Just fucking call him, Terry. Call him. Journey, journey. 
Oh, <laughs> Your pretty little feet, they tread so sweet. Strike up the morning dew. Oh, stay, oh, stay, you handsome maid, and rest a moment here, for there is none but you alone that I do love so dear. For I am thine, and thou art mine. No man shall uncomfort thee. <laughs> We'll join our hands in these forever, you and me. Escaped blind eyed Bill. Blind eyed fool. And who are you? I'm the one who blinded blind eyed Bill's blind eye. You're the meat eater. Yeah. You're the one who's responsible for everything my family has suffered. But my name. Everett Blackheart. Take out your car keys and put them on the table. You made one fatal mistake, Albert. How so? You chose my family for the new grand. <laughs>
him alive. We need you to find Sam. You can't shoot your brother. Listen, They left behind a loyal husband and a loving father. Unlike Betty Blackheart's coward of a husband, I watched you kill my boys, Hanson. I hid in the woods while you buried their bodies. Waiting for this single short moment when you would leave your gun. But the moment never came. I never killed Betty. She had her legs severed from her body by you! You bastard traitor! Let me know when it's boiled. But still you sold her flesh. It was a sadistic revenge, born of grief and hatred in my deranged, blackened mind. But your boys... That was the cruelest part of all. Because they lived. Don't toy with me, Hanson. I saw you dig their graves. <laughs> you cravenly conducted your insidious plot from afar. Whilst your boys were here. Alive. All this time. <laughs> you take me to the mansion! You take me to them now! The names and details of all your customers. I want them now. <laughs> you think that's funny? Hanson may be old and dumb, but if you fail to obey me, you will never fucking laugh again. I want full names. I want full details. Start writing. Oh, 
fine, sweetheart, as long as you're all right. Tell me you're all right. Mom, you need to leave. Listen to me, take the car, go as far as you can until you find the nearest person. Let them take you the rest of the way. Jess, you need to go straight to hospital. What about you? I'm ending this. It's to Jessica. Come home, and we can get far away from this place. Come home? To what, Catherine? There's nothing left. And Sam are what's left out. I'm not leaving you here on this farm. And I'm not leaving until there's no farm left to leave. Are you going to be all right, sweetheart? Promise me you'll find us. You find us, Jess. We'll be waiting for you. Don't forget that. We're still your family. Don't let them take that away from us. I'm sorry. Come on, Sam. No. no. Oh, leave your sister. Look after him. Welcome to Hanson Farm. In keeping with the Hanson Farm tradition, you prisoners will not be fed. I know all too well your appetite for human meat. All you have to pay for the meat trapped beside you is the scar of guilt that it leaves on your conscience, which clearly you disgusting dogs don't feel. I hope that you'll have families you'll miss. Parents who will mourn you. And children who will know that you failed them with your greed and your perverted desires. The one who eats first is the one who survives. That greedy piggy can go free. The rest of you will suffer for your cannibalistic indulgences that have brought so much destruction upon my life and so much death to this farm. Including you, Hunt. I want you to climb into the oven. Close the door. I don't want to shoot you down like a filthy animal. Revenge is supposed to be ugly. This isn't revenge. This is so I don't become like you. Do this my way for myself. <laughs>